Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to this quick walkthrough of the Yith gift card plugin. Um, really easy to get started with. Once you install the plugin, you'll see all of um, you know the screen here. These main options down here in the Yith menu. You'll just navigate down to gift cards, and this is the screen that will pop up. Um, the first page, the um, the dashboard that will just kind of give you an overview of all of your gift cards. Um, obviously nothing will be there if you haven't gotten it set up yet. Um, to get everything set up, you'll just kind of run through these tabs. I'll go through them quickly to kind of show you what you're able to do. Um, what about this plugin is that it gives you a lot of options um, for customizing pretty much every aspect of your gift cards. So whatever you want to be able to offer um, to your customers, um, you know, if you want to have codes, if you don't want to have codes, how you want to send it in the email, um, if you want to have an expiration date, if you want them to set custom amounts, all of that you'll find in these settings menus. I'm going through the general tab first. You can set your date format. Like I said, if you want to disable code generation, if for some reason you didn't want gift, um, gift card codes for any reason, um, these will all come with standard options kind of set up and then you'll just click if you want to enable them or turn them back off. Um, the other good thing that I found that I really like about this plugin is that it gives you great quick sentences about each one. So if you're thinking, I don't know if I want to do that, a lot of times the sentence that you'll find right there will kind of give you enough information to decide if you want it or not. Um, and you can always go in and change it at any point if you decide you want to do something different. Um, I'm going to point out a few things that I turned on um, just to kind of give you an idea of what you should maybe do. Um, thinking especially as a, as a consumer, so what I've found that I've liked in the past when I've either purchased or received a gift card. Um, notifications, for example, being one. Um, the one that I set up was that I appreciate being notified um, when the gift card is delivered. So especially if you set a custom date, which you can do, and we'll find that later in the settings, um, the sender will receive an email when it has been delivered to the recipient. So I find that to be very helpful just to confirm that they did in fact get it. Um, versus this I have turned off. I don't really care to be notified once they use it. Um, but if you did want to set that up, you can just turn that on really quickly. Next in this setting um, are your global settings. So I highly recommend that you set these up first, so these will be applied across the board to all of your gift card products. Um, so it's kind of good to have as a fallback. You can then, as it says up here, you can go onto the individual product pages and you can make separate selections for those specific gift cards, um, which I'll show you later, but it's really good to have these kind of standard items set up so that if you don't set something up, it will still look complete and it will still look the way you want it to look. Um, so you've got the power to set your titles for all of the various aspects of the gift card setup. So this is for the set an amount section. I've got select an amount put in there. You can put whatever you want. Um, you just type it in there and that's what will show up on the gift card page. Um, I have enabled that people can select a custom amount. Um, I think that's a nice feature. A lot of times people might not want whatever the default options are. This allows them to put whatever amount they want. Um, and the good news is you can put a minimum custom amount, that way you don't have random $1 gift card requests coming through. Um, so I set it as 10, but you could set that as whatever you want it to be. Um, you can also set an expiration date if you want. Um, if it's set to zero, the gift card will never expire. Um, make sure when you get to the bottom of each page that you go ahead and hit save changes so that anything that you've set up um, is saved. The next tab is the style tab. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, this first option allows you to set your logo on your gift cards. Um, I think it's a great option that could save you a lot of time. Um, my only thinking there is that you'll probably have less control here. If you turn it on, you simply upload the logo file and it adds it. Um, I think personally it might be better to kind of do it yourself, especially if you've got a lot of gift card images you maybe want to use. Maybe some have dark backgrounds, some have light backgrounds, um, where you might kind of need to customize maybe if you have a darker version and a lighter version of your logo. Um, but if you've got a limited set of options, it might be a good way to save time to just go ahead and turn that on and then um, upload your logo and that will put it on all of your gift card images. Down here is where you set your default gift card image. So like I said before, it's a good fallback to go ahead and set this up as something. I went ahead and just kind of put a generic image here that says thanks. Um, you will then be able to, on the specific product pages, add your own custom gift card image. So um, 
that's a good option that you can have control over each individual product. But this will be, if you don't set anything, this is the image that will display. So it's good to have something set as that default. Again, you can choose the title for the choose your image section. I've got choose your gift card image. You can put whatever you want. Um, make sure that you enable the gallery. You have this turned on so that you do have the option to show those images. If this is turned off, users won't see anything. So make sure you've got that turned on. You can also select how many image you would like to show. I've got it set as five. You can pick whatever you want. Um, and I'll show you on the front end in a little bit what that looks like. Um, and then you've got the text for view all. Um, again, you'll see that on the front end, what that looks like. I've also got it enabled that customers can upload their own image. I think that's a good feature, especially, you know, say you're um, ordering a Mother's Day gift card. You could have the image be a picture of you and your mom. It's a great way uh, to make something like a gift card feel more personalized. Um, so I've, go ahead, I've gone ahead and enabled that. It will also show you, you know, recommended sizing options. So this will help a customer if they're uploading an image. You can also set a max size, which is a good idea. Um, and you can set the plugin, the main plugin color here as well. The next, um, the next tab is image category. So this is important. Um, I said, if you are going to display images, you can go ahead and set up your categories here. Um, you don't technically need to have any categories, but it's a great way if you want to offer um, different types of gift cards. Um, I've gone ahead and added three. So there's a birthday, a holiday, and a Mother's Day category that I added already. Um, simply type the name in here and hit add new image category. Um, you can go ahead and set these up. You can always add more at any time, but if you already kind of have an idea of what types of gift cards you're thinking you're going to have people will be able to order, you can kind of go ahead and set that up here. Gift this product is the next tab. This is a cool feature. So this allows to offer people to be able to gift an actual product that you have at your store. Um, so it will allow a customer to buy a gift card for the amount of whatever that product is and then send it to anyone um, and they'll be able to easily purchase it as a gift for themselves. Um, you can decide where you want the gift this product option to show up. I've got it showing up on product pages versus on the general shop page. Um, but you can, you know, you can decide what kind of configuration you want. Um, I decided I wanted to have the get this product icon, so I turned that on. I've got the label style as a button, and you can add a short description. So if you think, hey, this product is perfect for a friend or loved one, go ahead and buy a gift card for the specific item. You know, your custom tech gets this product. You can set all the label colors. Um, what's really cool about this feature is the email options. So I've got it set up that the button text says view product. So this will come in the email to whoever gets the gift card. Um, the button, if you click it, will redirect the user to the product page. You can have it go to another page, but I feel it makes the most sense to go to the product page. So they'll hit view product. It'll immediately send them to the product page. It will automatically be added to the cart and the gift card will automatically be applied to the cart. So it makes it super easy for the customer to easily purchase the product and check out. They don't have to worry about copying and pasting a code or anything searching to try and find the product on the website. This makes it super easy to really click one button and you're ready to go. So I really like that option. Um, so let's see, recipient and delivery. Okay. So for here, this is where you're setting up information that will show on the gift card page for setting up the delivery info and for the user info. Um, so I've got to set to say delivery info. I've got um, users can check um, a custom delivery date. I think that's a great feature that should be turned on, um, especially you know if you're trying to buy a gift card that you want to deliver on Mother's Day or on someone's birthday, a specific day. Instead of having to remember on that actual day, you can do it in advance. You set the button. You don't have to worry about it. Um, the default delivery time, it's set to zero. That means it's just set to whatever today is. And then there'll be a little calendar icon. They can select whatever custom date they want. Really easy. Um, for the recipient info, I've got that that's mandatory. Um, that way you know that the person has to put their name and their email address so that you'll know where to send the gift card to. Um, I've also got to ask for the sender's name. That way, whoever receives it knows who it's from. Otherwise, it might just be a bit of a question mark. Um, so that's important. Make sure that's turned on. Um, you can update the placeholder text so the, um, the sender will be able to put a custom message. This is what the placeholder text is. You can have that say, 
whatever you want. These two options are for if you're going to have physical gift cards delivered. Um, you can choose to have a printed message added and if you want the sender and recipient's name. Um, we're mostly dealing with virtual gift cards, but here's um, these are a couple cool features if you want to do physical gift cards as well. Um, these are your email options, so for the email that does send to whoever the recipient is, um, I've got it enabled that a button shows up, which is really cool. So again, instead of just getting a gift card, maybe with a code that they have to try and copy and paste, this allows a button to be added. I've got the label right now as shop now and hitting that button will redirect to the shop page. So again, really easy. Someone gets an email, they can hit shop. It takes them to the shop page at the website and it will auto apply the gift card code. So they'll already have that credit applied and they can start shopping right away. It makes it super easy for the customer. Um, you can also add custom text if you want in the email template. Um, you can show the expiration date if you select one. And then this is also another cool feature here to talk about um, the QR code. So you can have a QR code show up. This is really great for people who like to shop on mobile, which plenty of people do these days. Um, it will um, show a QR code that they can scan with their phone. They scan it, it'll immediately take them to the shop page on their phone with the credit applied and off they go. Really great feature. Um, you can also attach a PDF if you decided you wanted to do that. Um, and then let's go to the last tab, which is the cart and checkout tab. So that's for obviously for the cart area when someone is purchasing items with the gift card. Um, this top section is if you want to allow the codes to be set in coupon fields. I've got that turned off for now, just I think it might personally be a little bit confusing if people are thinking, well, is it a coupon, but it's a gift card. Um, you can set that up if you like. Um, personally, I'm leaving those off for right now. As for your cart page options, I do have it enabled that the gift card info will show in the cart. And I've also, I think this is really important, I've got it turned on that people can apply the gift card on the cart page. So we did already enable earlier on in the settings that there's that button in the email that will take them to shop and it will automatically apply the credit. But in case, say someone doesn't do that, or maybe you know they did do it, but they didn't order in that specific session, and maybe now they're using a different browser or something like that. You wanna still have the option where someone can type in the code. That way they don't feel like they've already lost it and maybe they didn't use it. Um, so this is a really good option to have so that if they do have it on their cart page, on the checkout page, I've also got it enabled there. They can put the code in and they're good to go. Um, you can set up the language that you want on the page for applying a gift card. So I've got, got a gift card from a loved one, use it here. Um, there's an icon, so if they hit yes, it's a hidden form, but it will pop up if they say they do. They'll apply the gift card, a box will pop up, they put it in really easy, and then it applies. And you can choose the colors, the language, again, apply gift card, all of that you can set up here with whatever colors you want. Those are the main settings. Um, the next thing to do is go over to the media library. So if you're going to images, gift card images that people can choose from, you have to first upload them to the media library. Um, so navigate to your library. I've gone ahead and uploaded some kind of default images and given them some names that clue me into what they are. So I've got some Mother's Day ones, holiday ones, and a couple birthday ones. Um, so once you upload whatever you want to the library, the next thing you need to do is you have to set a gift card um, and image category. Um, so I've already done that, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do it really easy. You've got two options um, for how you can do that. You can do it individually or you can do it as a bulk action. Um, if you want to do it individually, you just hit edit next to whatever image you've got. And you will see down there on the right hand side that there are gift card image categories and you select whatever one it is. Um, so again, this was a Mother's Day image, so I checked off Mother's Day. You simply hit update and you're good to go. Like I said, you can also do it as a bulk option, which is really great if you've got a lot of images that you want to use. You can check off ones and then do bulk options and hit to set the gift card image category. Um, so that's a great way to save time instead of having them individually. Once you've set up your images, it's time you can now officially set up your gift card products. Um, that's really easy to do the same to doing um, with adding other e-commerce products. You simply go to products, all products, add new. I've already set gift card. I've already set it up real quick. Um, I had created a product category, so I went ahead and checked it as a gift card. You can obviously put information here if you want about the gift card if you want. And then down here in your product data, 
um, area, that's where you will set up the information. So you will first check that it is in fact a gift card and I've got it checked as virtual. So again, these are ones that are emailed, they're not mailed in the mail. In the general tab is where you'll put in your gift card amount. So I already added some. You can add out any ones that you don't want. You can add in as many and just say add. Um, I've also got here that manual mode is enabled and that the minimum amount is $10. We also set that already in the global setting, so that would have already pulled in anyways. Um, but if say you wanted a different amount or you wanted it disabled, you could add that here individually on the product page and it would override those global settings. Um, you can set in sale information if you want and the expiration date if you did want, um, if you wanted to do that, um, but you don't have to. That's pretty much all you have to worry about in this section. It's really easy to get it set up. Down here, this is important. You want to check off whatever categories you want to display. So I'm setting up this particular product as kind of a general gift card product where people can get a birthday one or a Mother's Day where they can do anything. So I've got them all checked off. But say you wanted to set up a product that was specifically for Mother's Day, you could just check the Mother's Day icon and then only those images that were tagged with that category would show up. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind to make sure that you do. The product image here, again, we set this globally. Um, so if you didn't put anything here, whatever you set globally in those settings would show up. Um, but you can also override that and put a custom image. I just used the same one, but you could use a specific one. Again, if you were doing a specific holiday, it might make sense to do something different here. You can also um, set your short description like you're used to doing if you want. Um, and then you simply you know, hit publish if you haven't yet or update and your gift card will be good to go. Here's what the front end looks like of the gift card. Um, so again, the default image, the main image will show up here, whatever you set it as. And then as you click, it will change to any other images that you might have uploaded. Um, if they want to view more, this will pull up the full gallery and will show whatever categories you've got checked off. So because I had them all checked off, they're all showing up here. And you can either see all of them at once or you can click through to the specific categories. And here is also where you can upload, a customer can upload their own image if they want. They can also do that right here where it says upload your image, either way. Um, so this area here on the left will update um, as you change different features. So if you select a different image, and as you update the amount, again, they just select whatever amount they want or they can enter a custom amount and it will show up in this area here. Um, you've then got to set up your delivery info. So you select the date. Like I said, it defaults to today or you can select custom date if you want. And then you have to put in the recipient's info and your info. So their name and address, your name and whatever you want your custom message to be. Um, it will show up here as a preview. So if I were to write, happy birthday it will show up there so you'll get a nice preview of what it's going to look like once you've added all the information and everything looks good you simply hit add to cart and then you would check out as usual um, for your e-commerce store and that's it you've got your gift card set up so hopefully this helped you to understand the yith uh, gift card plugin